Dave Wyman filling in today on Brock and Sock for Brock, who's uh, on vacation taking some time off. And today on the show we talked about uh, a lot about Tavares Jackson and a lot about uh, one caller who made a great point that I think with his play now, you're able to not make it such an emergency in the draft to get somebody. But I think that uh, most people, uh, sort of the consensus is that Charlie Whitehurst isn't going to be there next year and that uh, he's sort of played his, his way out of Seattle. So you got to start to look at maybe a backup. Then there was a couple callers that thought maybe, uh, you know, they should go get somebody, trade up to get one of those elite guys. I believe the game is changing a little bit. I think that you can get by with an Alex Smith type of guy. John Clayton brought up the fact that the San Francisco quarterback last night didn't score touchdowns. They had to settle for field goals down inside the red zone, but he didn't throw any interceptions. So he's kind of one of those elite game managers, and that's kind of who t has become. And so I think they can survive with that. But uh, the other thing I wrote about on MyNorthwest.com is just the fact that uh, Pete Carroll's mantra is win forever and, uh, and always compete. And there's going to be a lot of competition down there at uh, the VMAC next year when training camp opens up because you have three guys that are getting a lot of time on the offensive line that have replaced starters that are going to push guys. Lemuel Jean-Pierre, Breno Giacomini, and Paul McQuiston. McQuiston played guard and tackle. So, you know, those guys, when, when Okung and Moffitt and Carpenter come back from their injuries, you're going to have three guys that are veteran guys that have had a lot of time. Uh, and got a lot of game experience, so that'll be great. Uh, same thing at defensive backfield. You got Marcus Trufant coming back, presumably. We don't know what they're going to do with him, and then uh, also Walter Thurman. But you've got uh, Browner and Sherman who have uh, just done a great job. And I'm tell you what, I'm campaigning. Get online and vote for Brandon Browner for the Pro Bowl. He's got 26 pass deflections. That's number one in the NFL. He's got two interceptions for touchdown. That's number one in the NFL. And then he's also got 26, uh, did I say pass deflections already? He's got six interceptions, and that's second in the league. And then, oh, his return yardage, 220 yards in return yardage. So he also leads the league in uh, penalties, by the way. <laughs> so forget about that part. But I think he deserves the Pro Bowl vote. So get online and vote for Brandon Browner for the Pro Bowl. Anyway, uh, Merry Christmas, and I uh, hope you have a good holiday week. Thanks, and talk to you later.